Speaker Judge, and of course, the judge is And this is 45 seconds. Since uh, once in 45 seconds, you're answering, or mi the microphone is out. Um, I chose Miss Jetly Ibea. And I hope you're doing great. Here's your question Describe a situation where you had to overcome a stereotype or prejudice. How did you handle it again? Describe a situation where you had to overcome a stereotype or prejudice. How did you handle it? Thank you so much. Way back 2020, I have tried to enroll to one of the universities in Tarlac, and unfortunately, I was not accepted. It's because they have asked me to cut my hair. It's because the requirement of the course is for me to look like a man. However, I decided not to continue my education to that course, and I just course it to look for an alternative way in order for me to achieve my goals in life. And as of today, despite of me not finishing the course, I wish to continue before. I am working as an operations manager working with 300 employees, making sure that they will be able to keep their employment. Thank you and good evening. Thank you so much, candidate number seven. This time, let's call on candidate number five. All right, candidate number five. Please speak your judge. The one who holds my fate tonight is Mam Sally Del Campo. Hello, good evening. Hello, madam. Good evening. I like your thoughts that you I am handling your fate tonight. Oh, thank you so much, <laughs> madam. I hope you handle it well. Yes, of course. <laughs> I will just do my job well. Thank you so much, madam. That's your question, dear. Should transgender women be allowed to join pageants like Miss Universe or should it remain exclusive for women? I repeat the question. Should transgender women be allowed to join pageants like the Miss Universe or should it remain exclusive for women? Not to be prejudiced to my own community, but I believe that transgender women should not be allowed in the Miss Universe. Why? Simply because the Miss Universe competition it is for biological women. Women who are in fact given the right during birth we want to be women. That's why we join competitions like this, to feel like a woman, to be like a woman. But we will never be a real woman by physical, but we can be by heart. And what we call respect to our mothers, to our sisters who have given life and given birth to us. You know what? We may have different opinions, but always remember this. We have our own platforms, just like the Miss Gay, Miss International Queen, Miss Transgender, and so on and so forth, to show who we are, what we've got what our advocacy says and what we are fighting for and I believe that we can be heard. Congratulations. Hello. Congratulations for a job well done. <laughs> Thank you so much, candidate number five. All right, please come forward on stage, candidate number two. Another set of gown, shimmering like a nude color. There we go. Take care, Judge, and good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My judge for tonight is Mr. Mark Fernandez. Good morning po, and good morning to the panel of judges. Maraming maraming salamat po sa oportunidad. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Ang ganda mo naman ngayon. Maraming salamat po. It's because of the power of makeup. Oh, great. Yeah. So here's my question. Uh, the Pagasa projected that some areas will experience dangerous heat index yesterday and probably in the coming days. With your influence and platform, how will you advocate sustainable practices that will address this present problem? Do you want me to repeat the question? Yes, please. All right. The Pag-ASA projected that some areas will experience dangerous heat index yesterday and probably in coming days. 
With your influence and platform, how will you advocate sustainable practices that will address this presence problem? Thank you so much. Let me go directly. Of course, I am not a scientist. I will not be able to discover or create something that could, serve, that could save our Mother Earth. However, as a transgender teacher, the only thing that I can do as an influence is to teach everyone how to be disciplined and literate enough to throw their trashes in the proper, proper bins. Why do I say so? Because a specific one trash can be accumulated into something bigger. Lahat po ng maliliit pag pinagsama sa ay malaki. And because of that, we have destroyed our mother nature. That is why we have the highest heat index, specifically on the next month. But we, the human beings, the highest form of animals, we can end that by helping one another and being decent and literate enough by simply throwing our trash. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number two. All right, partner, our next candidate is... Candidate number three. All right, candidate number three, pick her judge and good luck. There we go. Your judge is? It is my privilege to be asked by Judge Mr. Jerick Maminta. Okay, this is your question. The Philippines does have laws for push to it to for inclusivity in public space or at the very least ensure that the physic, uh, physical safety of pe uh, people using the, this space. Do you think this is, do you think this is need the gender neutral restroom in all government, uh, government agencies, private offices, and commercial industries establishment? Why or why not? One more time if you don't mind, sir. Thank okay. you. The Philippines does have a law that push in exclusivity in public space or at the very least ensure that the physical safety of the people using this space. Do you think there is a need for a gender neutral restroom in all government, government agencies, provide office, I, private offices and commercial industrial establishment, why or why not? Okay, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they, it is pertaining to providing restrooms specifically for the third gender or the third gender preference, the, the members of the gay, lesbian, or the LGBTQIA plus community. Is it necessary or not for me? Not necessary. Why? Yes, I am a member of the transgender community or the LGBTQIA plus community. But it is all up to you if you think you are respected or not. If you think if you, you are discriminated or not. You can enter with which you think you deserve to enter. Whether it's for male or female. Regardless of what other people would say, it's all up to them. It's their thinking. All you have to do or to think for yourself is that you are not harming anyone. That you can still be proud of who you are and who you still can be in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number three. Our next is candidate number six. All right, there we go. Candidate number six, pick your judge and good luck. Um, I picked uh, Ma'am Joan Rigonan. Hello, good evening, candidate ha number six. Hello, Madam. Here's your question. Another case of discrimination and inclusion facing the LGBTQIA plus youth is the, pro pro youth is the prohibition of cross-dressing and gender expression in schools and learning institutions. What would you advise a gay child who is barred from attending his graduation ceremony for wearing a dress or to a lesbian child who wishes to wear a tuxedo on her prom. 
Another case of discrimination and inclusion facing the LBTQIA+ youth is the prohibition of cross-dressing and gender expression in schools and learning institutions. What would you advise a gay child who is barred from attending, barred from attending his graduation ceremony for wearing a dress, or to a lesbian child who wishes to wear tuxedo on her prom? Well, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, the only advice that I can give to a young LGBTQ people is that be brave. Be brave enough to be yourself. Marami ang taong hindi nakakaunawa. Marami ang taong mangdidiscrimina. Pero ang tatandaan mo, ang papasukin mo is not a paradise. The LGBTQ community is a jungle. Maraming malupet, maraming mapangusga, pero kailangan mong maging malakas, kailangan mong maging matatag. Maniwala ka sa kakayan mo dahil hindi ang pagtakbo ng buhay mo at ang pangarap mo ang magdidikta kung ano ang sinusuot mo. Bagkos ang iyong kakayanan at kapasidad ang magtutungo sa iyo sa tagumpay kung saan ka nararapat dahil yun lamang ang pwedeng maging titulo mo panghabang buhay. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, candidate number six. This time, may request candidate number four. There we go, candidate number four. Pick your judge, there we go. And get the microphone, please. And good luck. I pick Ma'am Estrelita de la Cruz. Magandang umag. Magandang gabi po. Good morning, candidate number four. Good morning po. How madam. are you doing? Kinakabahan po, but laban lang. Tuloy-tuloy lang po para sa mga taong naririto ngayong gabi. Huwag kang kabahan kasi I thought I was gonna read to you the longest question, but... Um, judge number six and number seven, they read to you, they read to the candidates already the longest question. Salamat po. But this one is also long. So let me, let me uh, read it slowly to you so uh, I don't have to repeat it twice or three times. The world is evolving and through time, the LGBTQIA plus excelled not just in the arts, but as corporate leaders. What qualifies do you think are essential for effective leadership, both on a local and global scale? I um, will repeat the question. Excuse my voice. I, um, no problem. I was swimming like three days ago and I lost my voice. Now I'm recovering it back. The world, okay, here's the question. The world is evolving and through time, the LGBTQIA plus excelled not just in the arts, but as corporate leaders. What qualifies do you think are essential for effective leadership, both on a local and global scale. To be effective leader, even you are a part of LGBTQIA in community, is to be true to yourself. Sabagat naniniwala po ako na kapag ikaw bilang isang liderato o leader, kung totoo ka sa iyong sarili, marahil ang lahat ng taong nakapaligid o mas mababa ang pagkatao o ang kanyang posisyon sa iyo, maaaring magiging totoo rin siya sa iyo bilang balik sa iyo bilang isang taong nabubuhay dito sa mundo. Lagi po nating pakatatandaan, huwag nating titignan kung anong uri man ang taong nakapaligid sa atin. As long na totoo ka sa sarili mo, naniniwala po ako na ang lahat ng tao, mapabakla, tomboy, babae o lalaki, magiging totoo po sa iyo sa kanilang mga puso at sa kanilang mga isip. Thank you so much, candidate number four. And to complete our top seven is candidate number one. All right, candidate number one. No choice. Sang judge na lang na e one. Ma'am Lulu Orpilia. Number one. 
Uh, here's the question. What will be your advice to a gay child who is afraid to come out to his conservative family, friends, and the society? I'll repeat it. What will be your advice to a gay child who is afraid to come out to his conservative family, friends, and the society? For me, the advice that I can give him is that stay strong and never give up for at least open to your family of who you are. Because I believe who we are is not a scene, but should we be proud of. And of course, even our family cannot accept us in the first play, place, but they can accept us soon or later because our family love us the way who we are. And of course, I would say to the young child that they, that I would say to the young child that she, or uh, I would say to the young child that he also be brave and of course be confident for who you are, who she, who we are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number one. All right, so that was our top seven semi finalists. Take me back to the lights, back to the beat.